This show is brought to you by these happy patrons. Especially to those squatting at the throne right now watching this, may everything come out smoothly. Welcome to the BMPR show. We have a jam-packed show for you this time, and the highlights are... First, the final tune shader tutorial by Lightning Boy Studio. Second, beer updates. We have a lot to show. And third, Ghibli-style grassland. Let's start the show with some good news. The patch to Preserve Custom Normal in Subdivision Surface and Multi-Res Modifier is accepted and is in the Master Branch. Previously, these geometry modifiers would remove the Custom Normal by recreating normals when they are added. This new patch will retain all the Custom Vertex Normal edits from our Abnormal add-on. You can test the patch in Blender 2.90 Beta right now and experience Abnormal Normals. Now for the tutorials. First up, how to set up Grease Pencil Line Art by Sergio Max Cajajeras. For those who are out of the loop, LANPR has now been renamed to Line Art and is part of Grease Pencil. To set up real-time Line Art, first add a blank Grease Pencil. Second, add a Grease Pencil layer. Third, add a Grease Pencil material. Fourth, in the Grease Pencil modifier, add a Line Art modifier. Fifth, fill in the modifier with Geometry Source, Target Layer, and Target Material. And lastly, in the Render Properties, activate Line Art and turn on Auto Update to see the Line Art drawn in real time via the camera view. There's a lot to play with here, and the Line Art is enhanced daily, so expect new things when you try it. Go to these latest Blender beta builds and have fun with the fast Grease Pencil outline. The second tutorial is 2D Stylized Grass by Christoph Dedin. Right now, this will only work in cycles just because of one setting. More on that later. As with all grass, they are made with a particle system. The ground plane has the grass color. The grass plane has UV with the option From Instancer toggled on. This setting does not work in Eevee. The grass particles get color from the ground plane using that setting. But getting the colors are not enough. You need the shape of the grass. This is done using an alpha mask. Fix the transparency and you have yourself a tiny grassland. Please give this one a try. The result is stunningly good. The third tutorial is a 2D rim light by Lightning Voice Studio. This is the sixth and final part in the tune shading tutorial series. If you have not seen the previous videos in the series, they cover how to handle multiple light sources, how to make dynamic outlines, how to make metallic materials, how to make anisotropic hair, how to get better shadows, and finally, how to make a rim light. Rim light is mostly made using the Fresnel node. This tutorial teaches you how to add control to the Fresnel. You can make a rim light soft or hard or both using two color ramps and a mix node. Change the color using a simple blending node. Change the size of the rim light by changing the index of refraction or IOR. Rotate the direction of the rim light using a simple vector math. It's a simple but thoughtful setup. The tune shading series as a whole is a great introduction to understand how to make the most basic tune shaders. Anything much simpler is just for quick one-off jobs. If you can understand how data is manipulated to make all these tune features, then you can already read the GLSL code for them. This is a gateway to start coding in beer. And we of course welcome you to our shader hacking community. Oh, and remember to watch the whole tutorial series. There is a lot of NPR in them. Here are a few more tutorials. Yes, more NPR tutorials, but we think it will be worth your attention and time. The Silistine Breakdown. This one is by us. If you haven't seen it, please do it after this show. The breakdown has a lot of modeling for style information in it. Grease Pencil. Comic Style from a Reference, Part 1 and 2, by Paul O. Kagigi. This one's for absolute beginners and very easy to follow. Stylized grass again, but this time they're not flat. This tutorial is by Curtis Holt based on a setup by Feline Entity. This uses curve objects, particle systems, and physics to make a hypnotic wavy grass. And this is for absolute beginners. Learn Low Poly Modeling by Infenzia. This video is very long, but very detailed. You may need a few sittings to watch the whole thing. 
You can find the links for all these in the show notes. And some great news. Blender NPR YouTube channel now has over 10,000 subscribers. That's over 20,000 eyeballs on this show. Kind of scary to see, well, so many eyeballs. And since there are so many new people to the show, for your information, everything shown in the show is in the show notes. And you can find links to the show notes in the video description. And the show notes are always pretty huge since we try hard to credit everything we show. We also put in things we could not put into the show there. Speaking of show notes, we also have links to these places. And these places are overloaded with NPR greatness. If you track everything, your 24 hours will be overflowed with NPR, because the NPR community is huge. And a short public service announcement. Please do not use the hashtag NPR on Twitter to tag your NPR tweets. The NPR hashtag is used by the National Public Radio Station in the United States. Use BNPR instead, which means Blender non photoreal And now, for Blender Extended Expressive Renderer Updates. You can now test beer using a bare minimal UI via Malt. To do that, you have to install Malt. And here's how. You download the add-on by going to the Actions page. Select the topmost event from the list. In this page, you'll see two artifacts. Click on both links to download the files. Install Blender Malt like installing other add-ons. Search Blender Malt and enable it. Blender will stop responding for a moment while it's downloading the dependencies. Unzip the Shader Examples folder and make sure it's easy to find. And here are the features you can test right now. Beer has a basic light support for a point lamp, spot lamp, and sun lamp. World color right now does not influence shader colors. This works like the renderer in 2.79. And we have these basic shaders, Lambert shader, half Lambert shader, gradient Lambert shader, Fong specular reflection, ambient color, and UV texture. We also have basic support for an outline shader. This is a filter shader. And right now it can detect these line types, silhouette, border, crease, and intersection. Grease Pencil is also working, so you can use the Grease Pencil line art modifier. Miguel also made a patch in Blender to allow freestyle support for all third-party render engines, which means Beer will have freestyle support soon. To get the rendered result from the OpenGL render, aka pressing the F12 button, a patch was submitted and is accepted in master. Both patches should be in the Blender daily build, and if not, you'll need a custom build to use these features. Beer is only made possible by the people funding the development. Right now, we have about 10,000 US dollars in the fund. And that means we have funding for roughly 20 weeks of development. We still have to get the fund to around 12,000 US dollars to reach the fourth milestone. Anything over 12,000 will be used for Beer UI development. To reach the funding goal of 20,000 US dollars, here are a few blend files that we think you'll love. From the first batch, an epic sunset scene by at I am Galad. You can learn how to set up the sky, the clouds, the stars, and how to light the scene. End of Destiny by at Alex Mailer from the second batch. From this, you can learn projection mapping and how to add tiny animations to make the static scene feel alive. In the third batch, we have Kinchan by Tenzu. Kinchan has a full body mesh, so you can dress her up in anything. The perfect waifu. And in the fourth batch, Callisto by at Ruki Curry. And this character speaks for herself. Just gorgeous. Reward yourself with any or all of these files and let's get the fun to 20,000. We can do it. This is our favorite part of the show. Feast your eyes at these awesome sauces.
what we can learn from this pizza delivery boy scene by Haeckel Shaba. Let's look at the reality abstraction on this piece. First, the scooter has no front left fork. The wheels have no spoke. The smoke is spheres. And fourth, no pizza in the box. No shadow on the ground. And the most shocking of all, the boy and the scooter aren't moving forward. Instead, the background translates backwards. If you can think like this, you will be a very good NPR artist. And not everything is cake. Big Tot Burger is a series by Worthy Kids, which is a one-person team. So there is an I in team for this one. How does he make the episodes so quickly? It's the NPR workflow. His characters are shadeless. There's a lot of image planes stuck to his characters for the 2D feel. And he uses grease pencil a lot. If you want to know how he does it, there's a 93 minute tutorial where he shows his workflow and it has epic results. Diver is an animation series by Brandon Wright. It's an animated science fiction web series about a popular racing sport called gravity diving in which pilots compete from all over the galaxy. This story follows Zeke and Zara as they compete to become one of the first humans to win the big championship. The result is pretty epic considering it's also made by one person. Inuyasha opening number two remake is a work of these nine friends. The animation replicates the opening very closely and up every part that's visible. All the characters are 3D, the backgrounds are repainted. Grease pencil was used to un-3D the renders. We salute your dedication for staying true to the source material. Rabbit is a final year project for a group of students calling themselves Art Bunny Productions in the One Academy Art School. The story follows a herd of bunnies in a fantasy world trying to escape from a fearsome snake that descended from the sky. Blender was used for look development. The shaders from Blender were translated into Maya. V-Ray Toon MTL shader was used to replicate the shader to RGB node. According to the director, Lim Ji Zhan, if not due to academic requirements, this animation could have been done completely inside of Blender. A great result from the Art Bunny team. The plot twist at the end got us laughing. Nice job. The show notes is the place to go for more NPR stuff. If you have not read any of the show notes from the previous show, you're missing quite a lot. For this show, we hid three Nescafe Hong Kong interview articles in the show notes. There are also links to bonus tutorials and animations. And this show was brought to you by these awesome people. Please thank them kindly. Before we go, one last question. Have you tried beer?